Hi everybody, this is Christophe from France. So for this second video about uh, this uh, unbelievable tool that is Wombat, USB ADD, uh, we will see how to connect the Wombat uh, on an Apple 2GS to use modern keyboard, USB keyboard onto a 2GS. Uh, you will see this is just amazing. So let's go for it. So we are in front of the Apple 2GS. Uh, it's a classical ADB keyboard and a mouse that work fine, as you can see. Uh, uppercase, lowercase, control panel, so everything is okay. This uh, Apple 2GS, it's a ROM 3 Apple 2GS. For the video outcome uh, output, it's a VidHD, and there is also the unbelievable accelerator, the Apple Squeezer inside. Uh, you can uh, see about it in some other video. So, um, in a previous video, I wanted to have this keyboard to go on a Macintosh and uh, yeah, uh, we need the keyboard for, for this Apple 2GS, but want to have a more modern one. I will use, as said earlier, my one bat. So for this, I need first to have a look if the jumper is set on the right position. I put it already uh, earlier. so. It's on a USB to be sure that the USB uh, will be transmitted to the ADB host. Uh, we can close it. And now it's time to remove my perfect keyboard and mouse and move to another one. So here I put a cardboard because uh, I will use the optical mouse just to show that uh, the ADB port provide enough power for this kind of mouse. Here we go. I have a brand new Apple keyboard. So, you know, the same way as the ADB one, you have two USB ports on, uh, on this keyboard and uh, the mouse is already connected to one USB port of the, of the keyboard. And uh, of course, I cannot connect this USB keyboard to the Apple 2GS. So for that, I will use my Wombat. So first, I will put the USB connector in. And uh, then I will connect the ADB cable coming from the Apple 2GS uh, inside. And we can see that the lights are on, the power, and also the fact that there is a keyboard connected uh, behind. Uh, I did it without rebooting anything from the Apple 2GS. Now let's have a look how things are going. So, uh, as we can see, the mouse is working well. And by the way, uh, we can see that the laser is uh, also okay. So the ADB is providing enough power uh, for this kind of setup. Uh, the button is also working. So let's do our test. I'm in lower, lower case test. Now I'm with the caps lock test working. Uh, I have a French keyboard and the Apple 2GS is configured for the French keyboard. So if I press A, I must have A. Perfect. And in lower case, it's also A, uh, which is good. Uh, if I'm doing Apple copy, so I need to put it like this, that will be better. So if I'm doing pom uh, Apple A, Apple C, Apple X, Apple V, Apple V, Apple V, we can see that everything is okay. Uh, to access the control panel, let's try uh, the command key, control escape. It's working and we can uh, use uh, the arrow to to go everywhere. So it seems to be working perfectly. The, the mouse is still working well. Discard. Uh, and uh, yeah, we can we can have a look. Everything seems to, to work uh, perfectly. So the little uh, uh, ball on top of the, of the mouse, of course, is not working because Apple 2GS recognizes only 
uh, one button. Uh, and uh, let's see if the system recognizes special keys from a Wombat. So for example, for Wombat, if you press Control Shift Caps Lock V, you have the version of the Wombat appearing on the screen. Now you can see that it's a very weird. QDB, USB, ZO, uh, BQT, Fear, and so on. Uh, it's not German, <laughs> it's just uh, the fact that uh, I have French keyboard and the Wombat is mapping onto the keyboard key. So to read it in a perfect way, uh, I need first to, to go in the control panel and to change my keyboard as a US keyboard. And now, if I'm doing again Control Shift Caps Lock V, I can see that I have an ADB USB Wombat firmware 037, which is the last one. Uh, so we can see that uh, everything is working well. Uh, now, on uh, on the Apple 2GS, we have the power button, which is missing here. Uh, and this button is very useful for the uh, Apple control reset, uh, but we don't have the reset. So it's mapped onto the F13 uh, key. But b before doing it, let's have a look because I didn't try it. The keypad, of course, the keypad is working and well mapped. The same for the keys. Um, keys are working well and also the extended keys uh, that are not onto, onto the um, classical uh, Apple 2GS uh, keyboard. Uh, the F keys provide some interesting information. Uh, so I think if you are doing If you are doing uh, the F1, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't do what uh, what I thought. But you have some uh, characters uh, onto the F uh, F line. Uh, and now let's see for the start button, the reset button. So I said it's F13. Let's try command control F13. Perfect. It works. So now I can use uh, this uh, full USB keyboard on my Apple 2GS. The character sets are recognized, so it will work also for people with uh, uh, German or Swiss French or Canadian French uh, keyboard uh, and so on. Uh, everything is transparent. About uh, the upgrade of the firmware of uh, the Wombat, I invite you to see um, my other video about um, the Macintosh and uh, to connect the ADB, ADB keyboard. So now I just uh, wish you all the best for using new tools on two very old computer because this uh, Apple 2GS is from uh, 1986 and still working perfectly. Uh, if you liked this video, please put a like, feel free to share, feel free to comment. And uh, of course, I hope that uh, you enjoy to watch this video as I was very happy for doing it. I wish you all the best and uh, see you soon. Bye bye. It was Christophe from France.